One way booby, radio raw. We doing this the fly way, homie. My way, oh wait. I'm going 90 on the road, switching four lanes. What's up, y'all? This is Dante Cheng, and this is the Completely Unprofessional Podcast. Um, we got my co-host today, Miss Esther Koo. What up? We got Miss Nikki Davis Miller. Hello. And we have our very special guest, Derek Mayo. Mio, Mio, Mio. That's right. That's right. That's right. I, I, I just did that. I just did that so you could correct me and shit. Look, Mio, Mio. Well, yeah, it's a Spanish last name and shit. It is. It is a Spanish Mio. word. Dios Mio. It means mine, but it's. Uh, my in my case it's yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yours. Oh, okay, okay, no, no, yeah, okay. no, no, okay. no, no. <laughs> Very good guest. Yeah, but no, I'm your guest today. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Hey, thanks, thanks for being here. We're excited to have you here, man. Yeah, man. I'm so um, to be here. you are a stand-up comedian. Some would say, yeah. You're actor. the first Asian Derek I ever met. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. And first Asian Dante. Dante is yeah. way more rare, I think. But Derek's Derek's still yeah. so handsome. And you look but, at that jawline. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I, I never what, had, what, what happened to your jawline? I never had one. When's the last time? <laughs> I never had when's the last time you saw it? I, I never had one. Come on, you were always chubby like that? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> like for your baby pictures. Pretty much. Since six, I was fat. Wow, Since you six. might have a jawline under there. We should maybe, do some lipo. Maybe it sucks because my parents are so good looking. And then like they, they, you know, you know Asian parents are like brutally honest. Asian parents used to tell me like, "Are Asians? Period. You don't have to continue to parents. They're brutally honest, and they. they I remember Asian people who always say, "Oh, your parents are so good looking. It's too bad it didn't trickle down to you. They oh, would say that to you. <laughs> heard it more than time. once. Heard it more than once. Oh like, wow! Like, show us a picture of your parents. I don't. I don't have it now. Okay, yeah. but Post one day it on I'll show Instagram. it to you. We'll cut one, it in. Later. One day I'll show it to you guys. So like, uh, so you've been doing. You've been acting for a while. I've been acting way longer than stand up. I I been acting for. Oh, you're you one know, of like those. 16, 17 years or something like that. Yeah. Uh, I just, you know, I watch stand up comedy. I love stand up mm-hmm. comedy, but it's like, how do you get into it? It's it's kind of like acting. It's like, how do you do that? I want to do that. Do you think? Do you do you do you think you did it because you genuinely love it, or you need another outlet to try to? Uh, I think it definitely came at a time where I felt, you know, frustrated. Unemployed. Things weren't, yeah, things weren't going the way, <laughs> things weren't going the way I, I thought they would, you know what I mean? But, or, uh, in case, like, don't act like he's a nobody. He, he's been on Hawaii 5-0. I've done some you stuff, know? Yeah. He did his thing on there. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, had, yeah. He's, had, he's had really good pilots. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. Got dude. paid a lot of money. Yeah, I was on the show uh, Greek on uh, ABC Family before it was uh, Freeform. Uh been a guest star on, yeah, a lot of shows, CSI and all the bones and all the different. Yeah, you uh, got a good look. You look, you know what? You got, you got good, good hair. Mm-hmm. Okay, good uh, hair, yeah. you know? Good face. <laughs> <laughs> show us your dick. Get on this yeah. table and show us your dick. <laughs> and you know what? He looks like the Asian dude with the big dick. I don't know yeah. why. He just Dante like, has said many times how cute you are behind your back, by the way. <laughs> yes. Yeah, behind, yeah. Say it to my face, And also though. Esther as well. Yeah. Yes. I think I've said it to your face, but it, too many times is awkward. Yeah. 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 Like, Once or twice is cool, but Damn, like I would have probably said it like 60 times to her. Yeah. I would go like, <laughs> I'll be, I'll be in the lot. car with her. I'll be on the road trip or something. I'll scroll up and say, "Ah, oh, dang me, that's a cute little motherfucker." He's so cute. He? He's so cute. Yeah. But it's weird now. I'm gonna tell you why. It, it was, it was okay when I thought he was like twenty. When I thought he was young, but he's we're almost, a, we're pretty close in age. You put me on blast oh, right now. I'm sorry. I'm not, I didn't tell him how old I was. I, I could have thought you were 16. I don't know. Yeah. But now, as soon as I figured it out, I was like, you know what? I can't say that anymore. It's weird mm-hmm. now. Can't say that again. You could pass for sixteen, dog. No, 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 not anymore. Yeah. Maybe maybe a little bit. Yeah. So, like, when you maybe seventeen and a half. Oh, thank you. I love all the Asian people. You know, <laughs> <laughs> and, and Nikki, we love Nikki. I know, so whatever. No, she has the Asian gene going on too. She looks great for her age. Oh, I love yeah. for her age. That's for my her favorite. age. Additional. But do you? Do you? Is, it's it's so, so bad great. when you say that to somebody. You don't know how old they are. You just go up to an older person. You look great for your age. <laughs> that's true, but I know how old she is. Yeah, that's oh, okay. She might not want to announce it, but uh, no, she looked great anyway. You look yes. great, period. Thank yes. you. I'm yes. going to make it out with all of you in the parking lot later. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but the, this thing, white people generally age the worst. That's true. The worst. Their skin yeah, doesn't you hold must up do, well. You must do yoga or something. I do no sun is what I do. Yeah. Zero sun. I'm like Asian in that way. I'll go out with a big hat and an umbrella and a parasol and... Gloves. There you go. All of it. The mask, the face mask. The face mask, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and she does, takes care of her skin very well. Oh, yeah. I do. I'm an esthetician, too. Oh, are you? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, I need a facial you from you. You should come in. Yeah. 
She needs a facial. I'll keep you all young. I'll keep you all in diapers. Why did I feel like you made it nasty? Because this is completely. (laughs) She needs a facial. Completely unprofessional. She needs a facial. Yeah, I wasn't gonna go there. Jeez. Yeah, this is how it goes. So, so Derek, uh, being man, what's up, Dante? Being Asian, when you when you when you made the decision to pursue entertainment, what did your parents think? Um, you know, it's funny. So the way that I, I've been very lucky, very very fortunate. The way I've. Uh, not only started acting, but stand up as well. But so it was, uh, you know, I was touring colleges, you know, as you do in high school. And on the way home from, because uh, I'm from Orange County, uh, on the way home from UCLA, we stopped off, me and my mom, we stopped off at USC. And then we saw their film school. I was like, damn, this shit is tight. I didn't know you could major in film. You know what I mean? And it was like a private school. It was like, you know, it had that East Coast vibe. USC has got the red brick and everything. I was like, man, that would be dope. And then uh, a family friend heard it through the grapevine who had graduated from USC film school Mm -hmm. that I was maybe toying with the idea. And then he just started like, like rushing me like it, like it was a fraternity. Like you need to do this. You need to, you need to apply like, and, and I did. And I got the acceptance to UCLA and USC on the same day. And I just chose I thought I was going to go to UCLA my whole life, you know, just private or public school, Southern California kid. And I did the load, the road less traveled and, uh, expensive. and more expensive, you know, it's a big burden for my parents to take on, but they, they sent me there. Like if they didn't want me to do it, they were, they could have just been like, nah. So they're with it. Yeah. Pretty much. They're with it. They're yeah, with, with it. Asian parents, I guess. Yeah. But it's, it's not like they're, I mean, they still, I mean, my mom still to this day is like, you know. Oh, how was your show? Mm-hmm. Did you get paid? <laughs> you know? That's the worst question you, in your comic. Do you still want to? Do you still want to do this? You know, you don't want to be a teacher. I'm like, no, my mom. I, I'm like 20 years deep. Like, you know, yeah, you know nah, it's, nah, too, it's late. too late. Yeah. yeah, man, they never give up. No, what the hell? No, that's how Asian parents are. Now, the funny thing is, my mom and my family they encourage it, but when I tell them how much I get paid. They just start laughing in my face. You know, <laughs> they, they, they look at it like, ha, 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 ha. If you were to pursue this and not do that stupid business you do, then you would be, then you would be fine. And right, I'm like, right. so they, they almost, they, they want me to put, they want me to actually quit everything else. Yeah, and those are the people who so kill themselves on the subway after working for 12 hours in Japan <laughs> at a job that their parents wanted them to do. Yeah, that's why the, the Asian people have like the high, one of the highest suicide rates, right? Yeah. Is that true? Yeah. I did not know. Oh yeah, Harry Carey, right? Isn't that what you call it? I guess. Uh, I don't know that yeah, the name well, I mean, that's term, during yeah. the war. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am old. So I am old. That was like the samurai shit where they, like, oh, right, you know. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they got the suicide forest in Japan. Wow. Um, man, this went dark quick. Right. No, but they, they, they do support. Like, they'll come to shows. Mm-hmm. You know, they do support. They're, they're, they're proud. They're happy. Like, when I'm on TV, for sure, they're like telling all their friends. And, uh, but you said it before we started this, Esther. They just want us to be okay. They just look. They just looking out for well, us. Well, they just want us to make money because they like sacrifice so much <laughs> to come over here, and they want us to like b- reap the benefits of them bringing us to America, right? Yeah, yeah. The intentions and are good. And it's like you know what? If we would have stayed in Korea, we would have been fine because the economy got way better. Yeah. Right? It's or Japan. True. It's true. But I or wherever this but at the time, girl is from. Yeah. <laughs> here. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Oklahoma. No. <laughs> right here. <laughs> is that where I look like I'm from? <laughs> Fucking racist. <laughs> She's a statist. <laughs> oh, God. I love Oklahoma. The that's tables have wins. turned. I wouldn't have guessed Oklahoma, but that's fucked up. I don't I know. know why. That is fucked up. <laughs> Nikki, Nikki is the minority uh, today. I yeah. am. <laughs> All right. Where are you from? Yeah. I'm from here. I'm from California. Yeah, I was born in Virginia, and then six months later we moved here. So, yeah, I'm sure, basically okay. from here. She was actually born, like, maybe five minutes from my mom's house. Alexandria. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow, well, yeah. you guys are all California. I'm not. Oh, I'm D.C. DC. Oh, right, right, right. D.C., Chicago. Chicago. L.A., LA California, California. Yeah. Huntington yeah. Beach. Nice. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> I never heard it put like that, but okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, let's roll with it. Um, so that, I want to talk about this a little bit. Um, how do you guys feel— 
Um, so this is not against you. Don't worry Don't about worry. it. So okay. So how, how do you feel about um, how do you guys feel about how like uh, a lot of Asian roles are taken like Asian roles that are meant supposed to be meant for Asian people like Ghost in the Shell. They would they gave that role to Scarlett oh, Johansson. Like Emma Stone. Yeah, Emma Stone. Getting that role Aloha. in that movie. Aloha. Aloha. Yeah. It's, you know, it's, it's star power. You know, I mean, mm. it's 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 money. There's money involved. So I mean, they they're gonna they're gonna rely on star power. You know what I mean? Mm. And it's it just makes sense for them. Fiscally, but you know, of course, culturally, everyone's up in arms. What's funny is people in Japan weren't even tripping because people in Japan love America so much. Yeah, you know right. What I mean? They like they want to be they white. Put, they want to be black. In, in their you know? Japanese Vogue magazine, they put they hire white models. Right. I've heard that because yeah. it's like that's the goal. That's that the, they want to the standard so become. Only the people that are upset is Asian actors in America. Asian yeah. Americans, yeah. yeah. Who, Asian Americans that act in Hollywood. In yeah. Hollywood, they're the only people that are upset because the rest of the country seems like they don't even give a shit. They don't give yeah. a shit at all. We're the only ones who are like, well, what about us? And what that's about the us? thing. Like they they got to market to their viewership, right? Yeah. They're not they're not marketing these movies to like the little Asian American communities. Like they gotta they gotta market it to international as well as like middle America. Why it's a lot of TV shows. Mm-hmm. There's not too many Asians because it, it just doesn't reflect, right? The people yeah, I mean, that are watching. It's, it, 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 I, I, you know, basically, I, I've heard that like the, the the target audience is Middle America, and there's not a lot of Asians there. It's just not. No. And and it, people have I've heard people say try to pull the racist card and say it's racist, it's racist. If anyone's racist, you're usually racist towards black people. It's just how people are. You know, if you, you, it, it is. And I don't think it's ra- I think it's just a fear, like you said, of of, the, of if you brought up, it's like a fear of not selling the movie. You know what I mean? It's yeah, just it, yeah. it just market. It's a it's a well, marketing. It's ploy. just like how many Asian actors have had acting training? Like our generation, our parents wanted us to be the doctors and the lawyers and everything. So there's just how many like actors are actually ready for a role like yeah. that? It's a good. I point. mean, you are. This is a good point. Like you, yeah. t- you had acting classes when you were a kid. No, no, no. I played basketball. You know, I didn't. I didn't do yeah. like the performing arts stuff. So I came. I feel like I came late to the acting game. I didn't start till I was like, you know, in college. Um, but I mean, there are there are definitely Asian actors here that are well trained, and yeah. they're the ones that are, you know, they're 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 doing it. They're they're representing. I think I think you got to get people of color into positions of power in order for that to trickle down into the roles that are being cast because. You know, remember back in the 80s. The gatekeepers, the gatekeepers. need to be more Asian. Yeah. Or more, more, well, well, just more diverse. Yeah. You know? and, and I talked to my mentor who got me into USC, and he was talking about, uh, like, the executives. Like, they, it, was, it was a lot more diverse back in the day. And that's why you had, like, I mean, you'd call it, like, Karate Kid, you know. I, I mean, Karate Kid. I still I rock with Karate Kid. Yeah. But, you know. And, and you know, they're and doing even what with 21 Jump Street. You know, you yeah, had a lot. Of, you yeah, had, you right. had a lot of Asians back in the day, but then something happened where it was like, it was dry yeah. spell. You only had one. Yeah. There was always one well, you token know, one. Always one. I just, yeah. I just performed at Harvell's, and the guy who owns that club in Long Beach, he said he used to have an Asian casting agency called the Agency. <laughs> <laughs> Like 20 years ago, he had a casting. Maybe that's why, because there's no more the agency. Agency. The agency. So we'll like, to bring we that should back. start. Yeah. We should start it up again. Agency. Yeah. The agency. That's a good idea. It's a great idea. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's a great that's shit. I don't know who it started though. Like, Derek, <laughs> you're in charge. You know, just bring it back, right. Derek. This is the first meeting. The he first, looks like the boss. The first you, official you know, meeting. Yeah. Go, the go open the telephone book. Look up all the casting agencies and he see who has the worst name, mm-hmm. and then we call him. And say, yo, I think you should change to the agency. The agency. Agency. I like the agency. Yeah. It sounds cool. Isn't that perfect? It's catchy. It's yeah, like so. you know exactly what it is. Yeah. yeah. You know what you're getting. Yeah, and, and it makes you, I don't know, it makes you, it tickles you a little bit. It makes you laugh. It makes me laugh. <laughs> the <but>. agency. <laughs> <laughs> the agency. Yo, who's your manager? I'm rep by the agency. It's and funny. It, and watch it just, they just get a bunch of fucking white kids, you know, and, mm-hmm. and, 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 and everything else. But yeah, backfire. yeah, we represent uh, all all types of Asian actors and chinky Puerto Ricans. Chinky, chinky Puerto, Puerto, Ricans. Puerto Ricans, even mixed ones. Even Tiger Woods, <laughs> even Tiger Woods would be a go. Yeah, even if you fucked an Asian, you could uh, yeah. you could be on our roster. We can take Asians. whatever we can get. <laughs> <laughs> we don't yeah. have much. Let's be honest, nobody's booking Asian actors, so uh, Asian just sign up injection. anyway. Yeah, Puerto, I mean, I think Fresh Off the Boat was a good start. I mean, it would be a good. 
I guess, you know, a little trick, you know, a little something. Dr. Ken. Dr. Dr. Ken. But he's canceled. canceled. He got canceled, you know. But at least he was out there. Yeah. You know, and that's the thing. People think, people just look at the numbers and they go, oh, well, only 2% of America is Asian. Who's going to watch this sitcom? Well, there's other people besides Asians who might want to watch an Asian sitcom. I think so. Because we've been watching white people for, you know, forever. But it's it's almost like. And black. And we all watch Cosby. And everything. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not anymore. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then, you know, George Lopez show was successful. He had, a, you know, all Latino cast. Yeah, I so, think you got to give the audience more credit. You know what I mean? They, I think they, 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 they want more diverse stuff. It depends. You just gotta honestly shove something down their throat and see if they see if they swallow it. You know what I mean? Like, you just gotta try it. Maybe a few times, you know. You know, I'll, I'll say this the other That's day. What she said. You gotta yeah. give. <laughs> you gotta give one. To shut Asian people up, you got to give one Asian role that a white guy is supposed to have, like maybe Superman or like Captain America. Yeah, it's yeah, one time yeah, yeah, Asian yeah. people shut up for five years. You know what I mean? Just, 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 just Bobby like, Lee has that bit, right? Like, like, a, like a, yeah, let's have an Asian play William. Wa- I am William Roris. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get an Asian guy to play a white guy. Imagine Bobby Lee play Captain America. That'd be oh hilarious. God, that would be awesome. Captain, that, would him, fuck, that would be <laughs> amazing. <laughs> see him in a Captain America suit, fucking belly out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, you see his little Super Mario yeah. mustache and shit. Well, no, you can't cast, cast Bobby Lee. You need somebody who's like built. Who's that good looking dude on Hawaii 5 The handsome Korean dude. Daniel Day Kim. Yeah, that's some. Yeah. He could be Superman. He could be the Asian. Who's Superman. that good-looking right. Asian on Hawaii Five O? Not you. <laughs> <laughs> the other good-looking Asian guy. The other good-looking Asian guy. He's shit. They're all good-looking on I that just show. met him at the Ha Ha. Yeah, he's he's chiseled. I'm like, damn, bro, yeah. you are fit. Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> yeah, you yeah. Know, he's a superstar. Shit, you know? <laughs> superstar. I'm big. He's a big guy. He looks no. tall. No? no. Yeah, he looks tall. No. He looks chinky though. He looks chinky. so chinky. He makes you think, like, he's the kind of guy, like, I don't know why. Like He's so chinky, he make me feel round yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh I think you just got to, there's no excuses anymore, though. You know what I mean? Like, everyone has the power to create their own content. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, look at Danny Cho. He created K-Town Cowboys. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I feel bad for him. He, talk, I talk, he talked to me. I talked to him about it a little bit. He got, like, a... a he, he got he had a lot of investors, uh-huh. and uh, I guess it didn't go as well. That's as why he ran stuff. away to Korea. Maybe that's why he, he ran owes, to Korea. He owes a lot of people uh, your money. All right, let me get the hell on. Let's, yeah. let's start a GoFundMe to get Danny Cho back to yeah, America. Yeah, we should start. Dan, we we missed it. Danny Cho's a cool dude. Yo, Danny Cho is hilarious. He's awesome. He He's is awesome. so fucking funny. Oh my god! During MySpace days, one time I made a T-shirt that said Danny Cho is greater than Bobby Lee. You did? And I put it on my MySpace photos. Oh, shit. <laughs> just, just to kind of like, you know, yeah, this was before I met Bobby Lee. Mm-hmm. So it's like, of course, you want to root for the underdog who yeah. was Danny Cho. Right, who right, you're right. like, he's so funny, but he doesn't get the roles that Bobby Lee gets, you know. He does. He does. And Danny Cho is great. He, he, he looks like. Uh, Danny Cho getting some love on this. Yeah. yeah. D- Danny yeah. Cho's dope. Yeah. He's really dope. He looks like Kim Jong Un, especially when he, he did that E Harmony like uh, commercial on YouTube. He looks just like Kim Jong Un. Yeah. He, he, More he than you, fool? Yeah. I would say so. <laughs> I would say so. Yo, we should shoot a sketch where you're Kim Jong Un yeah, and I, I'm like your wife. I've heard that six times already. <laughs> yeah. like today. Really. Today. Yeah. <laughs> today. Today. <laughs> <laughs> But he sounds like Dante, though. That, that Kim Jong-un yes, would sound that'd like, be that'd be, awesome. that would be fun. No, you got to do his voice. You got to yeah. try no, to No, you got to find a Trump. You got to find a comedian who does a Trump impression. Listen, I, I do a great that. Trump. I do a fantastic Trump. And then you Trump. guys, right. you, guys shoot your, you guys shoot the meeting between North Korea and North America. That would be funny. Let's do it, Dante. Well, I'll, do, be, I'll be weird. Trump. I'll you be almost Trump. might have to be off camera. We'll get you an orange wig. Yeah, we'll get an orange wig. Yeah, give him an orange wig and maybe make it work. Hey, fuck it. Let's give him that. Let's let him take the white dude's role. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's that's the one. one. There you go. Get him back. Listen, it's great to be on Comedy Pop Up. We have a lot of <laughs> a lot of things in common with huge. Comedy Pop Up. This is gonna be huge. Okay. A lot of things pop up. A lot of things pop up. <laughs> who's your favorite person? In, who, 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 who's your favorite person impersonate? I like doing him for sure, yeah. and uh, Obama. Yeah, 
You sound this like Obama yeah. before you even try to be Obama. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, a little bit. You've got it like something in the back. It's of, definitely, yeah. it's def- there's definitely certain people just line up with your your vocal range. Mm. Mm-hmm. And there's some people I tried on the side. I just can't, uh, I just can't get there. But like, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. It's, it's like, there. Uh, uh, or something. Uh, it's like you got a bubble in your yeah, throat. Me, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I think I do that. Like if you're talking about like the mechanic. Yeah, he's, he's, always, he's always thinking. He's yeah, like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. change. Uh, talking uh, takes his time. Does anybody have any change uh, for a dollar? <laughs> <laughs> That's Kyle Groom's joke. Who, who could you not, is there anyone that you couldn't get down, that you would try to get down? Um, really, I can't think of it off the top, but they're yeah. Because it they're, that's they're a, that's a talent, man. Like like I've I've literally tried to get or because I heard some people that do that for a living. That's all they do. Mm. It takes some it takes some some people years. Well, you know what's funny people, is like some people I, take years. You talk about like ten thousand hours and all that shit. I've been doing that since I was like a little kid. Yeah, I grew up on SNL uh-huh. and uh, like Dana Carvey was my dude. He was like my idol, and now I'm like hanging out with him at the haha. Ha wow. it's just weird. Like I just want to tell him like. How much I love him, but it's just it's. You don't want to smother him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, right. So you just start like. But I still do picking the fuzz out of yeah, his toenails. Yeah. I just like. <laughs> what? <mess. laughs> that was weird. Is that, what you, is that what you do to your idols? <laughs> that was very manicurist of you. Or like, yeah. <laughs> that's what you fantasize about doing to your idols. Um, I don't, but. <laughs> I guess she does. I guess. Yeah. Uh, I guess yeah. uh, it's an Asian thing. I guess you never walked in on a green room with me yeah. and uh, no Jim Carrey. Oh, okay. Is he the one? For yeah. You? Why? Yeah, I think it was Ace Ventura that did it for oh, me. Hell yeah! Right. I think I saw Dumb and Dumber like seven times in the theater. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. You ever see when they try to redo it? When they try oh, to do yeah. a younger version of them? Yeah. Oh man, that was a. Uh, it sucks to because the person just isn't that dude. Yeah. And then, like Jim Carrey's being himself, and then this person's like trying to yeah. impersonate Jim Carrey. You so just it can't remake work. certain things. Like when they redid a uh, Total Recall, it's like this is not Total Recall. You yeah. know? I mean, the only thing you know, you gotta only, have Arnold. You know, the only time when things I was thinking about was like they better do the three tit chick again. You know? <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did they? He did, right? They did. He did. The three tit shake. I remember that. The three tit shake. Yeah. They, they should put, why did they do titties on the back? <laughs> yeah, that'd be crazy. Front and back. She would get yeah. a lot of hugs. Front like, and Can back. I give you a hug? Okay, greedy. I've seen people with titties on the back. <laughs> oh, yeah, they do have titties, but they're usually not that cute. You know? yeah. The titties <laughs> they, right They here. usually are missing the nipples. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but still hairy, though. <laughs> Those unintentional titties. <laughs> unintentional titties. <laughs> unintentional titties. Mm. Unintentional titties. <laughs> Damn, look at that chick with them big ass titties. She got that hair all up in her face. Oh, shit, she facing the other way. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be horrible if you thought they were like facing forward. You know what I mean? You it's see tough them to come back. Going. Yeah, oh, that's terrible. <laughs> she, she's coming over here. No, she's walking away from you. <laughs> Oh but yeah, man. So, it. so what do you? Were you are you ever fearful? Yes, this could, uh, you gotta answer this too. Are you guys ever fearful that you'll get like those stereotypical Asian roles, like the karate, or like you know you what? Know, I actually, like karate I guy. actually did one. Uh, it was on um, um, <clears throat> Murder in the First, mm-hmm. uh, this TNT show that uh, Tay Diggs mm-hmm. and. Uh, and I was playing like this this uh, Chinese dude in like a you know like a factory. Um, and I had an accent, you know. I put it on. I don't. I. I, uh, I, didn't, I guess I didn't do it. You know. I guess it was stereotypical. Uh-huh. You know, and, and maybe it was on me for not working it and making it more authentic or whatever. But uh, I got some flack on some Did social you? media. Yeah, Did, some people were not say? pleased with it. Just like, it's like how how could you? Oh, how could you do that? You know. Whenever I get flack from Asians, I just respond, shouldn't you be studying? <laughs> <laughs> Would your mom want you to be on Twitter right now giving me shit? Fuck you. <laughs> I got flack for it, too. Yeah. Yeah. They're like, his black accent's better than his Asian accent. <laughs> like, Yo, everybody gets flack. Yeah. No matter what you do, you're going to have haters no matter which way you go. So just fucking do whatever you just want. Just do you. That's how you know you you're know? doing it yeah. right. I think you got to have a certain amount of haters. Mm. Someone's paying attention. They're yeah. jealous. At least they're paying attention. Yeah. At least they're not. Like, eh, it's okay. Well, you know, someone once said you just have to make them feel, whether it's negative or positive. Yeah. You made them feel you're doing something. If they, if someone watches you and says, I don't give a fuck, whatever, then you fucked up. Yeah. Then now you're in a bad place. You know what I mean? You, right. you, I, don't, I don't know. Because sometimes you see people get, I mean, you don't want to be bad, but some people get attention because they're really bad. That's true. Some people get attention because they're good. 
You know what I mean? If you're mm. in the middle, you're like, eh, then you get ignored. Some people are just so bad that they become good, like William Hung. Yeah. Right, like, right. he became a legend. Right. Yeah. Like the disaster artist, that, that movie. You know? You know about oh, the right, room. yeah. I forget yeah. his name. Yeah. Uh, Tommy Wiseau. Wiseau. It is where yeah. people thought I, when he was hot, I got mistaken for him like two times. And it was sad. Wait, who? William Hung. Oh, like, hey, are you William Hung? No, like, they were like, just being assholes. I don't know. They're like, hey, can we? T-? No, I, I think you know how you could kind of tell by someone's face yeah. if they're like joking. I don't think they were joking. You know, I'm like, hey, you know, you, you inspire me, William Hung. <laughs> Your face wasn't like a joke. Yeah, we been thinking for Bobby Lee too and William Hung. So, oh really? Bobby I Lee, Bobby Lee. Yeah, but you know, no, I don't Asian. see Bobby Lee. These people, they can't tell their Asians apart. Now, this will happen uh, one time at the comedy store. Somebody came up and said, hey, Bobby Lee, I'm here to see you, and I'm so excited. And they were walking in where I was walking in. I was like, oh, I was walking in the belly room. I said, no, 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 Bobby's in the um, he's in the OR room tonight. Go over there and watch him. I'm not Bobby Lee. He's like, oh, you're not Bobby, I guess. Oh, thank God, because if I would have went in there and saw you in stage instead of him, I would have been really upset. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was hilarious. Oh my you could just God. walk into the comedy clubs and take his spots. Yeah, I'm uh, Bobby checking in. Yeah. That is so <laughs> funny. I've been, I've been like in, in like in a random like I've been back home in front of a random bar, and people are like, "Hey, Bobby, can we take a picture with you?" I'm not Bobby. Like, sure, Bobby. Uh, let's take a picture. <laughs> like, yeah. whatever, Bobby. All right, come on, let's do it. <laughs> it is, My little brother looked like Bobby Lee growing up, mm-hmm. so we will always call him Bobby Lee, and to like make the Bobby Lee face, you know, mm-hmm. like. Mm-hmm. Right? <laughs> so, Cause he just they, they looked alike So it was like Exciting to see Bobby Lee On Matt TV Yeah it, it when is When you were growing cool. up Right Yeah yeah, yeah. Familiar face Somebody it, Yeah And like he him. has a familiar Asian face too Like you feel like You've seen him before Like yeah. there's something Familiar about yeah. him You know And Looking and he him. And he let himself Get molested by a retard Multiple times yeah, that's he's, crazy. He's for that. candy. That, yeah. You know what? You know what? After the first time, it's not molesting. He, he probably enjoyed yeah. that, that shit. That was a consensual that's relationship. Yeah, that was, that was consensual. It's like retard, the first time. eight-year-old. You're, you're at the same mental capacity. Yeah. You were having a full-on affair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got molested by retard. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, th- we can talk about this. So, um, last time me and Esther was on this, uh, we were, we did a thing. Uh, we did a last last podcast. We talked about how Koreans in general do stuff that seems inappropriate, but it's kind of is, but it's not from a malicious intent. Mm-hmm. It's like for Esther, right? Like your auntie grabbed your boobs. Just check on your boobs. She's not my aunt. She was like a church lady. A church lady. Oh, yeah. she's not even her family member. Grab her boobs. But my it's dad. Like, but like church people are considered family people. Yeah. Family so they friends. fucking get away with it. But mm. technically it's not incest. Yeah. It's, it's not. It, it, I remember like uh, my, my friend's dad used to be like, hey, let me let me touch your boards. Right, and, I, and I'd be like, <laughs> "No, Mister Moon, no." He's like, bored, "Come bored. on, bored. I give you, I, I give bored. you blow pop. Let me touch, you, <laughs> let me touch you a little bit." And, and yeah. then I told my mom, right? I was like, "Mom, Mister Moon keeps asking me, can you play with my balls?" <laughs> right? And my mom goes, "Because he like you, yeah. he like <laughs> you." She doesn't even him. register it, to them it, that it's molestation it, or it's wrong. It's bad, it, 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 I, and we don't, you don't know where it's coming from. You don't know. Like I think every Asian family needs a child protective service to go into their house and check things out. Is yeah. that rampant? Mm. Yes. No, it's been no. My uncle, my dad used to always consistently say, like every Thanksgiving at the end until I was like the age of like. 13, I had to go at the end, I had to go on top, stand on top of the table and pull my dick out. What? Yeah, they used to be like, okay, we have finished dinner. Now you go on the top of the table. Now pull it out. My dad be like, oh, it's growing last year. Last time it's growing. Oh, head is coming. Head is coming. Good. See, this is why I think in the American public school system, they should teach like... Hey, if anybody touches your private parts, it's wrong because there's a lot of immigrant kids whose parents go by different rules from the old world. And we don't know that we're getting molested. (laughs) (laughs) So like your teachers should like teach that at some point. It's not what I don't want to Maybe like once a year. Do a sex ed. I agree. There should be something like that. There should be because there's like a lot of kids getting molested. Like parents would have to go too, though, because they don't know. No, but. Oh. Well, like, no, you could, like, emancipate yourself from, like, your family if they, like, touch your bowls. But the thing is, I I don't think they would understand. If you like, it's like, Mr. Kim, 
please stop touching your son's genitals. <laughs> it's my son. <laughs> no. I do what I want. You know, what I, mean? like, I have to make sure it's good pores. You know, what I, mean? I, I, I don't know what I don't know, but it does something. You know. So no, my question to you, Derek, is: oh, Do Japanese people do anything, anything remotely close to that? They do. We're, they we're do Korean, worse. Probably. Japanese. Have you seen their fucking porn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The porn <laughs> is definitely. Uh, and they pixelate the shit. That shit's fucked up. Yeah. Yeah, they do. Why do they do that? <laughs> Not that I know. Oh, because they're so conservative? They, like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Give it a give it a nice uh thing. I don't know. Wait, so So you never <laughs> so you never got molested as a kid? No, man. No? Uh, Lucky you, man. Yeah. Lucky you. <laughs> yeah. Japanese people are better than us. No one no way. wonder you're more successful than all of us. Yeah. We're still we're still trying to uh, you know, yeah. deal well, with our traumas. Than me, so I don't know. That's because I put a fucking video out every fucking week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we didn't just prance into some TV studio and give you know, us like, a Hawaii uh, Five-O <laughs> TV show. <laughs> yeah, like no, no lie. It takes a you know it takes a, yeah. You guys know it takes a lot of work. You too. You yeah. got the you got more than anybody here. Yeah, it's a lot of work. It's yeah, a lot so of upkeep constantly. It, yeah, and, it is. Yeah. And like and like people will message me like. Am I talking to the real Esther Koo? I'm like, yeah, motherfucker. Like, you think I I could afford an assistant? You know? <laughs> so. But no, I've heard a social media expert say a good way to do it is to build fake accounts. You're supposed to do that. I, I don't understand. Oh, so I don't that you can get verified. Yeah. Because it, oh. so Instagram oh, will smart. look at you and be like, oh, well, I guess all these fake Dante Changs. Yeah, so we got to narrow down which one is the real one. Yeah, I, I yeah. Guess. So if anybody out there can build us some uh, fake accounts, yeah, yeah. of uh, all of us, it will help us get verified. We'll give you thank, twenty bucks. Thank you, thank you very we'll much. We'll, we'll give you twenty bucks. We'll, 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 comment, we'll comment on all of your comments. Yeah. We'll reply to all of your comments. Every time you post a picture of us, we'll hit the like. Like just just spell our name like differently, yeah. you know? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Add, add an extra T or oh, K O O. Yeah, <laughs> add a D A A N T E. Yeah, D A A. Some D O N T E. Yeah. Spell it wrong. And you're yeah. gonna have to verify Spell your Spell it the black way with, with a Z. Your bars. With my bars. Bars. <laughs> bars. Bars. Oh man. I brought something Korean today for all of us. Oh, what'd oh. you bring? Have you ever had a choco pie? I did. I did. Oh, that's very nice. Oh, wow. There's a choco oh, wow. pie. Wow. Do you guys have these in Japan? Uh something like Thank it, you. yeah. I'm sure it all came from China. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we did. I mean, we we did. You right? Yeah. We did. Awesome. Yo, right? No, I think these are Korean though. Okay. Like the guy, so. the guy who owns Choco Pie. You know that guy is from North Korea who escaped. Yeah. He gave him like a lifetime supply of Choco Pies. Oh shit. Because Choco Pie was the first thing he ate when he like escaped from North Korea. Oh my god. And he's like, I or maybe that was the first thing he that. asked for. It's styled very American, like though. You they think should so? Just, they yeah, should just airdrop. They should just airdrop, like you know, what I mean, like a ton of these into North Korea with like messages, like Inside. get the fuck out of here. <laughs> get the fuck out. It's better out here. <laughs> but yeah, I got a crazy. I think they know that now. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, how, you, oh, what do you guys think yeah, about? Uh, open it up and <laughs> just falling all over your lap. <laughs> what do you guys think about Donald Trump meeting with Kim Jong Un? They're gonna meet soon. They said they're gonna talk about. They gotta fucking. They gotta. They gotta televise that. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Yeah. YouTube yes. live, Instagram live, all that. that they have a, They haven't disclosed where they're gonna meet yet. I recommend us, Fantastic Sam's or Supercuts. Oh yeah, yeah. For both they gotta of have them. Dennis Rodman up in there. Yeah, I, I, hey, I think it's good news. I think it could be potentially good, and yeah. it, and it's something good. I think it's good news that he wants to meet. Unless they want to meet to kill each other, then that's good news too. No, no, let no. them kill each other. Yeah, let them. That'd be good too. Live. I almost feel like it's a win-win situation, no matter what. You know, I, I don't know. I think it's good. I think I, definitely. You, I mean, definitely. this this thing. I mean, everybody is. Everyone just wants to. He has Trump. Has it, it? Just he has no filter, but he has done good things. He's had. He's done a few good things. You know, what I mean? like I mean, I feel like I don't know. I mean, I got to break on my taxes, so yeah. I can't. I can't hate him too much. You know, so, but I think it could be something good. I don't know. The thing is, Kim Jong-un likes anything from the 90s America, right? Like, he watches VH1, I Love the 90s, on repeat. He probably That's why he likes the Dennis Apprentice. Rodman he so much. He probably watches The Apprentice. So he probably is a Trump fan. Yeah. And this is, like, Kim Jong-un is the biggest number one threat to world peace. So yeah. I think... Like Dialogue as sad as it good. is to say, I think it's good that Trump is president because I don't think Kim Jong Un is a fan of Hillary Clinton. Had he she become true. president, he'd be point. like, "Fuck that bitch." Yeah, yeah. let me just bomb this. We, we might be in on a war. Yeah. Yeah. maybe. Who, I mean, who knows? So who knows? I think that's why the Simpsons designed it that way. The Simpsons thing is crazy. <laughs> 
That, is that kind of freaks insane. me out. Yeah. You know how they know. like crazy. Predicted. Yeah, it all like, is like right on the money. Yeah, every time it's is almost there anything like. Else? What else was there? It was not Trump, Trump being president. Right. The nine eleven. Um, it's it's many things. It's like seventeen different things. Those are just the two that it's come to my mind off the top. But really those insane. are the things that come to you know. I don't know, man. It's pretty crazy, but you know um, what's cool about um, talking about like opening the dialogue. It's good. Um, that's what I've learned in comedy. Mm-hmm. Is just be cool with everybody. Like in acting, mm-hmm. you know, I was a lot more immature in my earlier days and like being like competitive or whatever against other mm-hmm. Asian actors because we're all going for one role, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like it's hard not to be competitive. But like in comedy, it's like no one else is you. Yeah, you know what I mean. That is like true. no one else is your act. So there's no real competition, mm-hmm. right? They say the competition. You're kind of, you know, yourself. everyone's kind of in their own lane, kind of. Yeah. Depends over the, like, especially us, because there's only a few Asian people. And I, I love the Asian community and comedy because I feel like we all do try to help each other. Yeah. And I think that's and really I, cool. I'll, I'll tell you this. When I first started, you know, <clears throat> you know, I see you. Mm-hmm. I see other Asian comedians. Like, man, fuck. It's another Asian, Asian comedy. Yeah, shit. yeah. Are they going to do, like, you know, yeah. shit that I'm going to do? S- kind of the similar jokes, yeah. you know? And I was. I was kind of like standoffish or whatever, but I mean, we homies now, right? Yeah, yeah we're cool. We're cool. We carpool of course. shit here. Yeah, we're cool. We're cool. Um, I support every Asian comedian. Oh, yeah. I would except say for one, but yeah. Except, yeah, yeah, yeah. Except one, did yeah. you say? Yeah, you, there's you like one. Say, you know. Just, yeah. you know. Do I? Oh. No, I don't, <laughs> know. I don't know. I don't know either. No, no, no. I'll say it. I'll say it. I don't care. I mean, the only Asian comedian I don't support is Jason Cheney, you know, because he steals jokes. Oh, that's he does. Yeah, he still. He still. I seen him do Bobby Lee's joke. I've, I've no seen him do way. it. I've seen him do it. And no it, way. He took Ed Hill's joke, and he and he's the dude that he uh, he opened up for. Have, have people confronted him about it? You, you know what's funny? They made a video on it online, and then Jason took all his videos down after that. That's what I heard. So I mean, I don't know. I mean, and I, and this is the thing. Wow. This this is what made me realize he lives by me, right? Mm-hmm. And he's never ever. I never seen him at any open mics. He's been doing comedy like three, four years. How does he have an hour? How does he crush for an hour? That's almost like I just saw him bomb for five minutes. Okay, well maybe. What do you mean crush for an hour? I don't. I don't watch him. <laughs> well, if he's bombing and stealing, then whoa, then that's not very good. But like I've heard repeatedly that he's a thief, and I've actually seen him. Do, I didn't want to believe it because when I saw him, I was like, man, this kid's gonna be a star because he is. He does have it, like, he, like just like you have it. You the, he has something, and if he didn't steal, I, I still believe he would be successful because he has a lot. Has uh, anybody ever confronted him? Oh, you guys, they made yeah, the he's been confronted. He's, yeah. he's, he's been he's been confronted. No. No fucking way. No, this is the thing that, uh, this is a story I heard. He opened up for a comedian named Ed Hill, right? And Ed Hill gave him a shot, said, I I, I, I see something he opened up for him. Then he took his jokes and put them on TV. Whoa. You know what I mean? Like, the guy that gave you a chance, like, you're going to do that to him? He took Ed Hill's jokes? He took, took like, the, uh, this this joke about uh, who, who, you know how they, they say, I don't know. Michael Jordan represents black people, back whatever. You know what I mean? There's, we have no figure. Who's our representative? Cy from Gotham style. That's that was the punchline. You know what I mean? It's it, it, it's it's very possible two people could think of that, but not when the person, not when you opened up. Not when they obviously heard you him do opened it. Opened up for the person, then yeah. you do it on TV. Not when it's publicly known. It's publicly known that's his joke, and also what TV show did he do it on? On laughs. What the hell is laughs? It's on Fox. It's all like it's only in like five states. <laughs> yeah, but, but the, I noticed the moment is that the Steve show, the Steve um, Hofstetter show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I noticed the moment he did that, all his jokes, he took everything offline. Now, I, I'm this is what makes me think he's guilty because because I mean I know he's guilty, but um, I remember I got accused of stealing someone's joke once, right? Mm. I, and and the joke was online. I didn't remove that joke because I was like, I didn't steal this joke. You know what I mean? It was just similar. You know what I mean? So the guy was like, uh, when, when someone someone else that wasn't that person thought I stole the joke. And then once he, the guy, he listened to my joke, he was like, you didn't steal the joke. And we, it, it was squashed. It was cool. You by you deleting everything that makes you look guilty. Absolutely. It's like, why would you, why would you delete everything if, you know? Wow. That's why when we when we saw each other that day, I was just like, "Yeah, what's up, man?" I mean, last time I seen him, he he, he put his hand out to shake my hand. I just did. I was just like, "Oh yeah, yeah." I did give the oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, exactly. yeah. because I, because he, he doesn't. I mean, like, as as a comedian, we're, we all I, I know that no nobody in this room steals jokes. 
I know that you about you. I know that about you. I know that about you. I know that we work for our <laughs> shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then, like, you guys know. If I stole jokes, I would have a bunch of new jokes in my yeah. notebook. Yeah. <laughs> for shit, I would have yeah. two hours worth of material, yeah. you know? Yeah. But, like, it, like, you know how hard the process is. Yeah, I mean, we all understand. Like, I'm pretty, the thing yeah. is, like, I'm paranoid that people think I'm stealing jokes because, like, at, when I'm at a comedy show, I'll think of something and I'll tune out whoever's on stage. And because you're just in work mode, mm-hmm. you're like, I'm at a show, I'm talking to people, I'm inspired. You know, people are getting up and working on their craft, and I'll write something down that's mm-hmm. completely unrelated to whoever's talking yeah. on stage. I'm not even listening to mm-hmm. them though, and I'm like, I hope people don't think I'm writing down their I do jokes. That yeah. too. Like, like yeah. here I am, like paranoid that people. <laughs> Look at me while I'm sitting at the bar, and it's like nobody's thinking I'm stealing jokes. So yeah. no, yeah, no, yeah. I, I mean, they're not looking at you. <laughs> they're not. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're looking at the guy on stage. Yeah, probably, right. Saying. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean I'm pretty new to the comedy game, so I, you know, the whole joke stealing thing. I know it's a big issue, and I just, I know that I've had like similar. Thoughts, you mm-hmm. know what I mean, and kind of rhythm. That happens. But like, I, I've yeah. seen two people have the same joke mm-hmm. or the you, same premise. The same premise, but you could tell if someone stole it from it. You could tell by the wording, and you could tell by the, the placement of the punchline a lot. Mm-hmm. I've seen two people with the same exact joke, but the punchline's in a completely different place. Mm-hmm. The setup's completely different, but it's the same joke. It, you know, the point yeah. is the same. Yeah. I've seen that, and it happens. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But if 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 it's like. Like dissimilar and the only thing different is like one it's word. It's just so it's just, just so like, right. glaringly obvious when somebody steals a joke. It's just like when somebody has fake tits. It's like it's obviously yeah. so stiff mm-hmm. that they're not your own. Yeah. yeah. You could tell. Yeah. And they're on yeah, their back. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, if you guys know me, I'm just sold against that. Because you see, you guys... You I don't, do you guys watch specials? Like other people's yeah. specials? I don't oh, yeah, often. Yeah, yeah. I, I try not to because yeah. I just don't want to... Like there's so much great TV mm-hmm. like out there and movies that I feel like I don't have to watch it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I'm sure you also learn things from watching people. Sorry, I just burped. But like you don't... I don't want to like accidentally take somebody's style. Mm. Yeah. Or, you know, their mannerisms even. You spend an hour watching them, you're spending an hour with them. Yeah. That's yeah, true. yeah. That's and true. cadences. I mean, because it's all at, at the end of the day, if you take someone's cadence, it's just like stealing yeah, absolutely. a person's, you know, like one of the like first the pers- uh sorry. No, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, uh so there's like the first artifact of my fucking like performance chops or the impressions thing is uh we're going to uh my grandparents for like New Year's and uh my dad had this little cassette recorder, mm-hmm. and so my brother, me, we're in the back seat, and he's interviewing me, and I'm pretty much doing Dana Carvey's uh, debating George Bush and Ross Perot, like kind of like same line, same bits, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And it's funny, and it's on Funny or Die, um, but I, w- I guess I was stealing jokes at that's not stealing at, at ten. <laughs> it's not stealing because yeah. that's like, mimicking. You're, yeah. you're mimicking. Right. There's you're a difference. Yeah. There's a difference. You're like, doing an ode to yeah. right, right. like Michael Collier. I've seen him like say, "I'm gonna do a joke from the great late Fred Sa- Red Red Fox," and he'll do a joke. There's not to me. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with that. Right. There's nothing wrong with buying a joke. If you really like somebody's joke? I've done this. I've really liked like an open mic joke. Like, hey, can I buy your joke? I'd straight up be like, I hey, think can comedians I buy it? should have wills. Like when Ooh, I die, yeah. I leave this joke to Dante. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. So the, you, you know, if you guys are dying, you know, like, <laughs> please write that will for me. Yeah. These guys don't need it. I need it. Oh, I do. Yeah. <laughs> Which, you know, which comedian would you want uh, their estate of jokes? Dave Chappelle's. There yeah. is, but you know what, there though? Is like, estate of jokes. Yeah. But they're going to be like, you didn't write that shit. Right, you know right, what I mean? Because right, he's right. so fucking genius. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like, come on, man. Yeah. You didn't write that shit. I mean, Kevin, just, Kevin Brennan. Oh, he's good, too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's good. But you, you know what's weird? Like, it, it's, it's a weird thing. Like, some people, like, I've wrote with people that were really good writers. And like when they write for you, they'll like give you a tag or give, punch it up or whatever. Sometimes it just doesn't fit, even no right. matter how good they are, because right. it's, it's like their it's voice. It's their, like, it's it's their voice. Yeah. No, it can. Like like there's some, there's like two comedians I could say like I could really I could write really well for them. For some reason I hear their voice mm. and I'm doing it in their voice in my head. I hear the voice in my head and I could make it come out. But for some people it's like oh, oh I can't I can't. Not because they're not funny. Not because I don't like the, I don't think they're dope. Yeah. They just have you a haven't compl- gotten inside their or, or they have a, soul. They have a, or they have a cadence that I just can't right, get right, my right. hook on. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just, it is it is what it is, you know? Yeah. But I don't know. I just think the, wor- I think the worst thing you could do as a comedian is 
Because we understand, as a comedian, you understand the process. It's still a joke. Yeah, that's the worst thing you could do. That's it's, it's horrible. You're hurting yourself though, yeah. because you're not being yourself, and the whole and, idea no, is to be yourself. The sad thing is, people still succeed off of it. It's so weird. You know, what I mean? like people people don't care. Like if you're like, you know what I mean? Like you almost have to do a Joe Rogan. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You have to straight do a Joe Rogan and straight out. just call him out. Oh, and yeah. let, and well, let, first you have to start a podcast and then get it to number one. Get 20 million followers. And then call him out because nobody's going to know. <laughs> get, 20 million, get 20 million followers, you know what I mean? And then, yeah. and then, and then maybe it could work. Yeah. Because it, 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 it's a terrible thing because we all know the grind. The grind is it's brutal. You know, you, the, the audience, you guys only see the after effect. After we done done the joke like 60 times. I know, they open only see such a small thing. Yeah. They don't even know. Yeah. The grind. Yeah, I've had friends that's like, hey, can I come to your open mic and watch it? No, oh. absolutely not. <laughs> Amir got mad at me once because Amir runs an open mic, right? And he wanted to invite one of my friends. He's like, hey, you guys should come to my open mic and watch the promo. I was like, no, Amir. I was like, don't come, dude. Please don't save ever come. Save him for the show. Yeah, save, yeah that, exactly. exactly. I mean, that's common sense. And Amir was like, you're hating on me, man. I was like, I'm not. That's not hating. I just don't want to embarrass myself in front of my friends. You know what I mean? Like, come on. You want to present like, yourself in your best light. Yeah. So. And then and then even in an open mic setting, you know, it's like six, six, like ten comedians. There. If you're doing your best jokes, it doesn't fucking matter. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you're going to get the same result almost as if you are if you are doing new jokes because they're no one. No one's laughing. We're they're so you know jaded by the you know jaded because they hear thousand jokes every day. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I don't know. So Amir, I wasn't hating on you. Know I love you. You know I think he knows that now. He's like you're after a while. You know it takes time for things to process. He's like you're right, man. You're right. <laughs> like, yeah, motherfucker. I don't want to. I don't want to look crazy in front of people. I want to. I want to see people. People see me in front of a hot crowd. You know yeah, what I'm exactly. saying? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm even worried about that. If I know friends are coming, I, I'm like hope the crowd is good. Because if they, because comedians, I learned this, comedians, I mean, audience member, they don't know. You know what I mean? I remember my old roommate, he did comedy 10 years before I started. Like, I mean, way before I started. And I went to, I went, I went to a show and what he did, you guys as comedians understand this, you might not. He was doing stand-up at a spoken words thing and he was, it, it, they used him as a bringer. Because oh, he brought oh like, you know what I mean? Because they he brought people. And you know, everyone's like, thar out thou, my heart is lost <laughs> in the wind. You know, you know, yeah. dreadlocks and maroon t- toenail polish and incense burning people. You know, you know what I'm talking about. You've Old been natural some, oils. You've been, you've been to some spoken words. No, but I, I went because my friend, I was my yeah, friend's yeah, bringer. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. He did stand and he was a funny guy. Yeah. You know, he did a set. And I'm talking about, it was still to this day the worst bomb I've ever seen in my life. Like, this is how you know it was bad. It was so bad, his boy started praying from an audience. And it was so <laughs> quiet. No, it was so you quiet, could you could hear the prayer. The prayer was like, Lord Henry Father, please give my friend laugh. Ain't nobody laughing right now. And please give him the strength and the courage to pull through. How did that not get a laugh? That's fucking funny. That, no, but it was because just. Because out of spoken words, yeah, everyone's so, so serious. serious. You know what I mean? They're coming to pour their and heart then, and soul out. And, then, and, and you're fucking joking. The band about. got so, the guy, the, the band dude got so bored, he started like fucking with his drums and she's like do 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 and then and then, and then and then and the guy was like and then my and my friend was like yeah man uh uh why are you playing the instrument dog and he was like cuz you need my help motherfucker that's what he told him and, and, you know what i mean it was like yo and then I think, and then like, no, no laughs, maybe not even a chuckle. At, but it was still the worst bomb I've ever seen in my life. Uh, that he got off stage and he never went up again. Oh, that's uh, because wow. it, 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 so don't he, go to spoken word. Don't no. so. It, oh, it, those <laughs> are the worst. If you want to do stand up comedy. comedy, do not. Don't let your first time be a spoken words. Let that be like your 850th time. I had a great first show. It was yeah. at a comedy club. Yeah, I had a great first show too. You know, and it was sold out. Yeah. And it was like all my friends who didn't know how dirty I was mm-hmm. and were like horrified. We're like, what? <laughs> you know, I said all this nasty shit on stage. And she, and my, I was just like so natural. I was just like walking around. I was so confident. No, you, you have your nat- you're naturally good. Though. Well, you're just natu- when your first time, you've talent. never bombed. So you're just like, I'm like a kid, like going mm-hmm. down the black diamond mountain, you know? So, so what was the first bomb like? How, how long did that take? Um, Probably, well, immediately because he booked me for a show on Wednesday uh-huh. after that Saturday. Uh-huh. And there wasn't half as many people. Mm-hmm. So you just feel like you're bombing, even if you're not. Yeah. Right. So no, you're probably mommy. So. <laughs> <laughs> D, my first show was your show at the yeah, Aloha, bro. My first so show was with her. Oh thank no, you, no problem, man. Oh, no wow. problem. Yeah. No problem. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't know you then. It was just numbers, but yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> He's like, you bring in ten people, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. okay. You want the show? You want the show? You want the show? I was, you know, what's funny? I turned it. I was so fucking horrible, man. I remember this is one comedian. Like he brought like seventy people. 
Oh, right? Shit. Do you remember this guy? Because we were together. We were doing the shows together. I don't know if you remember this, but he was a really, he's, he's actually on TV now. He's doing really well for himself. So forgot his name. Good for him. But, um, I mean, he brought like 70 people and he has he didn't go up yet. And, and I was in charge of running the show. Yeah, of course. Yeah, but I was in charge of booking the comedians. And then, um, and then, oh, that was scary. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I went up to him and I said, hey, man, I think I want to book you again for next week. And he, and he was like, oh, but why? You, you haven't, you haven't seen my, seen me perform. I was like, look, man, I'm a booker. I know these things. <laughs> I know when I see potential in people. He was like, thanks, man. Really appreciate that. You know, he was all cool. But yeah, he's a good dude. You know, I, and the sad thing is he performed in front of 70 of his friends, cr murdered. Oh, you know, yeah. I think the first time murdered. And then like, and then the second time, I think he had 50 people murdered again. And he kept murdering. But then the people eventually dwindled it away. And then when he had to really face that crowd when they don't know you, it was tough. Because that's when you get strong and you rise back up and, you know, get the yeah. same effect. You gotta, you got, you have to. That's when you know you realize, do I really want to do this? Once your friends aren't don't come anymore, yeah. you gotta face that real audience. Is that's when you say, do I really, do I still want to, still want to come? Because he was just, they were just laughing at everything he did. Right. There's friends. He was a very good looking, popular dude that already had like, a, I think he already got his first role. You oh, know, wow. so he, he was doing good. You know, he already had fans from yeah. before he started. Yeah, he yeah, already had yeah, fans. Yeah. So after a while, like, so that was what I was saying is. Like he, he would kill because he, he had his friends. Friends keep coming out, like seventy people, fifty people. That's a good amount of friends. Right. Well, but yeah, eventually, when those people that dwindled that's down, a to like lot two, of friends. Like, what, what does he do? How come he has so many friends? Yeah, I, don't, he was I like, haven't had I seventy people come out in the past ten years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want that many friends. No, I mean, some people are just good at making friends, or just good at some. He was just good at convincing people. I think he was. He shot a movie. And he got like the light people, the extras, the other actors to all come. Right. He, even uh, what what's the name came? Uh, Atheon Crockett came to one of his shows. You know what I mean? Like, uh, he, he's with Nick Cannon a lot. Uh, mm. Some guy. You know what Do I mean? Who was the, the comic? Or can you say it or no? I forgot his name. Is he no, white not, or black? He's black, but I forgot his name. Okay. He was. Huh. A, I, I gotta remember. I gotta remember his name. He's a really cool dude. But I just don't remember his yeah, name. Yeah, let's see if we can get a book. Tweet us. <laughs> yeah, he's done. He hasn't Tweet done. us. I, I actually seen him about a year ago. He, he's, he he's doesn't all, do comedy? No, he doesn't do comedy. He stopped that day. Oh, the day, that day. I mean, that day. I, I think the last time he was when he had to face a real audience. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, 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 and you can't. I get it. I remember the first time, like, I had to face a real audience. It was, I was terrible. It, it was bad. Because I'm, I'm over, like, friends and hot crowd. I, I, for some reason, only saw friends and hot crowds at the beginning. And then when you see that first crowd, it's like. Oh my God, it's not working. I start sweating and shit, speeding up. <laughs> oh, like, you, yeah. you, you, you like, like five minutes hell of material, yeah. you, you go through it in like one minute because you're just, <laughs> cause next punchline, next punchline, next punchline, next punchline. Yeah, yeah. doesn't work. It's your first. Set up. It's cold. Because <laughs> now, I went, you know, you went from going, because uh, audience members, if you don't know, like, be comfortable. Usually around com com the third comedian, second comedian is when it starts to get warm and you could kind of do well. It's easier to do well. But if you're, Cold open, dead first. It's not that easy. No, you know no. what I mean. You got you have to you have to know what you're doing. You know what I mean. Or you have to know how to be like a good host. You know what I mean. Or not try to warm the crowd. Not, that's not good. Some people are only good at being third. Host, you know yeah. what I mean. Or some people are only good at being host. You know. So. Or closer. Yeah. Well, yeah. the closer is usually funny enough to open to. You have to be able to. to yeah, you have to be, be able funny to do both while they're yeah. paying the and check. And I think and it's keep good to do all of it because sometimes. You underappreciate a good host. Yeah. You know, so you pay, you know, kind of like, yo, that was great. I love good like, hosts. Pay, yeah, yeah. They make things so much easier. Good host, man. Yeah, I love Even. good hosts. Nikki, you're a great host. Oh, thank you. I love it when you host. I feel so comfortable. I'm hosting two shows tonight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But see, this is why uh, the club books her, because yeah. uh, she does her thing, yeah. you know, and I'm, you know, we, God. Things go, things, things fly. No, time flies, it's don't insane. it? It's insane. Yeah. It's insane. Oh, I remember like me and her would have, we mean you were at an open mic in front of six people. Like your first show was like, you know. Like what was that? Like what are you like three years in now? No. Two? I'm like two, yeah. Damn. Yeah. Okay. You're doing good for two years. A little over two. Yeah, he's yeah. doing great yeah. for two years. Mm -hmm. My God. You're doing great period. But. Well, I think uh also like I kind of came into it late, right? So I was a little naive. Mm -hmm. Uh and I was on this this thing about being naive about how you shouldn't try to control everything. You know, mm -hmm. you kind of go with the flow mm -hmm. and kind of go where people are giving you love and where things are working out and just st stick to the same things that you're doing that's working mm -hmm. instead of being all like a control freak and I want to do this and that. I was just kind of like, oh, this is fun. Oh, you're cool. Oh, you want me? To okay, I'll do a show. You want me to do? I'll, I'll do a show. And then 
It's like less pressure. Yeah. Too. You know. When you say um, late, you mean late in age? Uh. You yeah. Said you got into it late. You yeah, said. yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know. My thirties. Oh well, you know, yeah. He doesn't want. He doesn't want to be exact. Yeah. But he he'll be. Uh, well, you know, some general. people start like when they're fourteen. I don't know. Yeah, How old were true. you when you started? Twenty three. Twenty three. Wow. Yeah. Lucky you. I know. Fuck. Fuck you. You started later. Fuck it. We all started later. I think Way later. Everyone. Everyone here, but you started later. Oh, really? Everybody. That's because I started really in eighth grade. I was hosting the talent show at oh my, my God. at my uh, grade school. Really? Cause, mm. uh, yeah, because I was always making kids laugh. I would recite, like, lines from Aladdin yeah. and uh, be like, Jafar, Jafar, rah, 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 you know, like, just annoy the fuck out of everybody at school, just repeating lines from movies and stuff. And my librarian was like, you should um, host a talent show. I was like, okay. And I just did it, and I bombed so bad because it was totally different making your friends laugh than like going up and you're the s- one host yeah. in front of the whole school. Yeah, it's tough. Well, and you, like, must have, you must have loved it, or you stuck with it. It didn't. Yeah, I mean, turn like, I away. wrote jokes, but I never like practiced it because yeah. you know you just have the confidence of an eighth grader. You're like, yeah, I'm the shit, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> that's why your first show you you did so well, probably too. Oh, you know well, I, mean? I mean, but I grew up on stage. Like mm-hmm. at church, I always was in the orchestra pit. Mm-hmm. I was playing piano. I was um, dancing on stage. You're I did, a performer. You know, yeah. yeah. So I grew up on stage, like. Every Christmas and Easter, we would have rehearsals for hours on, like, a Russian dance, a Mexican dance, a Filipino dance. And then you go up, they play the music, and then you dance. So Mm -hmm. I was used to being, like, used as a prop for the church Mm -hmm. as, like, a puppet. And they literally dress me up. They put makeup on me. They do my hair. They put accessories. You know, like, Mm -hmm. the whole thing. So I just was – I'm just so used to being on stage. Like, it's almost, you know – same with the impressions. Like, I've just been doing it since I was a kid, just yeah. making your friends and family laugh. And then, and then you know, the acting, I think, definitely helps with the the, the stage fright. I, you know I, I mean? definitely think, I'm so glad I took acting classes before I did stand-up. I think that really, really helps. Yeah. You know, just yeah. like, just your cadence. Yeah. You know what I mean? The improv. Way, yeah. You got to improv when you're on stage. Because I heard you got to do it. I've never took an improv class, but they said it really helps stand-up. I would think so, yeah. yeah. You know, and I, I know when I first started, I was so anti improv. I'm like, those idiot improvers with their lame ass friends and being supportive. <laughs> you know, like, I was like, oh, I'm a stand up yeah. and I'm full of hate and yeah. bitterness. Can and you like, come to you my show? Almost, yeah. <laughs> you almost like pride yourself in being a stand up, but I wish I would have taken more improv classes mm-hmm. like when I first started because they were everywhere and it does help. Are you, are you, you really still, bitter though? You can still do it. Am I bitter? You don't seem, you don't seem like one of those angry. Comedians. Um, I hide it well. Okay. Yeah. Or Asian, Asians do that good. Yeah. 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 We're good at hiding a lot of shit. And then they go in the back. Oh, I want to kill my. You know, like, <laughs> I've, I've, I've been hiding my oh, eyelids Jerry. my yeah. whole life. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so. So what's next for you, Derek? What's next, man? I'm doing the Dime Bar. I don't know when this goes. Out. I'm doing the Dime Bar. Adam Hunter show. Are you uh, auditioning for shows right now? Uh, I'm not, I'm just, you know what, we're talking about Instagram, uh, being like the new thing and booking, like, I'm just hitting people up on Instagram, like, like, I'd love to do a show sometime. Uh Uh-huh, that's what you gotta do. Yeah. That's all I do. It works. That's what I'm just learning. It works. Yeah. If you ask. You you know what's funny, at the beginning, I I thought it was like a big secret, like, I got an improv show for six months by just messaging people. You're like, hey, can I get a spot? Is it, what, right. do, what do I have to do to get a spot? Whatever. Yeah. But word it, yeah, it's all wording too sometimes, the way you word it. True, you know what I mean? Sometimes true, I feel like true. feel like if you just say, hey, can I get a spot? It's like, fuck you. Well, yeah. I'm sure you, you you have to have done some stuff, right? Like I got my credits. I got my acting credits on my well, thing. I haven't I done like, shit. It, but it, but I just I think I just messaged. I was very no, nice. No, but you got content out there. Yeah, you, you got know? content. No, no, I'm talking about before all that. Mm. Oh, when yeah. I first started, and I'm, I'm 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 new, and I would just like I would message people, and to me that was like a big secret. Like I was just like I'm not gonna tell anybody how I get these spots. Well, tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna tell anybody. Tell me. Like, the secret is just fucking message me. Like, just ask. I'm not gonna tell maybe, anybody. Maybe it's some like affirmative action shit. Like, damn, we need an Asian to yeah. fill the spot. Yeah. All right, this dude just messaged yeah. me. <laughs> We don't know any Asian people. There's fucking three billion of these oh motherfuckers. My God. Where are they? <laughs> it's crazy. We have we have the, the you know fifty. I read a thing where fifty percent of the world is Asian. Wow. Fifty percent. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, but in this country, it's literally three percent. Three percent, and like there's fourteen comedians. And on a television show, it's one one per show. Maybe. If you can't, yeah. ever, you have two in a show. Yeah, Otherwise, now it's an Asian show. Mm. Wow. Yeah. 
So weird. That is crazy. Fifty percent of the world is Asian. Fifty percent of the Asian world is Asian. You know what's funny? I was arguing with. That's insane. I had like three black friends over my house, right? And I was like, yeah, you know, there's more Asian people than anything in the world. I kind of assumed it without even checking because of China and you know what I mean, like India. Yeah, is India in there? Yeah, India is Asian. Yeah, I guess so. I just assumed that China and Asian. So I just China and India. So I just we want to bring our GDP up with Russell Peters' income. It was so Asian of you to say that, by the way. Yeah, very Asian, very Asian. Look, so I, I had three black dudes over, and I assumed it was, we were. So I Googled it, right? And then the dude was like, I was like, look, the black dude was like, nah, dog. There's more black people than anything else. There's black, more black. And I was like, no, there's more Asian people. We're just going back and forth. Let's just Google. No, you guys are just louder. Let's just Google. Yeah, just <laughs> so I Google it, obviously... It says, you know, it says we are, you know, we're number one, we're number one. And then black, one of the black dudes was like, the, two of them were like, one of them like, yeah, my bad, what was wrong? Other, the other two were like, nah, dog, that's wrong. That shit is old. Yeah, yeah. man, your computer people got you. Yeah. They tricked you. <laughs> your like, computer what? people yeah. got your you. Computer people Yo, you got you. Gotta you. Download, you gotta yeah. update your Google yeah. app. Yeah. What you was gotta, the source? It was like AsianFacts.com. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> From the agency.com. <laughs> the agency.com. <laughs> <laughs> we will let her know we are half an hour. Oh my God. <laughs> On that note, uh, that we're out of time. Thank you for thank you for our special guest. Hey, Derek. thanks for having Derek. me. Derek. Thank you so much. Derek, appreciate Yay. it. Mio. Mio. Mio, I got it right Derek at the end. Mio. Mio's Mio. Mio. Nikki Davis Miller. Hello. That's the cool. Thank you. Thank you Dante. So much. Chang. Thank Chang. You. Chang. We'll see you next time. Yeah. We've been completely unprofessional. Thanks. Not really, though. Thanks, Thanks for watching. Thanks yeah. for listening. <laughs> Good night. See ya.